my name is Pastor Ivalani, and welcome to our How to Friends series, where you guessed it, we are going to learn all about friendship and better understand how we can not only be a great friend, but how to find great friends and have really strong relationships that bless our life. But most importantly, we are going to learn about friendships that honor God. Now, our very first lesson is better understanding why friendship is so important. And um, I bet you're wondering, um, what does peanut butter have to do with that? Um, well, you see, I, I love, and I mean I love peanut butter, but I also really love jelly too. And when they come together, oh, they make a classic duo of peanut butter and jelly. Oh, oh, and there's this one, okay, here. So when you see this little guy, you're likely going to see his little friend, Pepper, salt, pepper, get it? They're always hanging out together. And that's because these two complement each other perfectly. Very different, but they go great when they are paired together. Now, what about this? Hmm. When you have some cereal, can you guess what you need to pair up with cereal? Uh, yeah, milk, that's right. These things go great together, a big bowl of cereal. Awesome, right? These things alone are good, but when paired up, even better. Which brings me to our Bible verse, which you can find in Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 10. And it says, two are better than one because they have good pay for their work. For if one of them falls, the other can help him up. But it is hard for the one who falls when there is no one to lift him up. This verse is clearly telling us that friends are important. Two are better than one. God desires for us to have friends and to be there for our friends. And they're gonna help us in return and care for us. And it's such a blessing. See, friendship can bring a lot of like really great things to our life. It can also bring joy, laughter, and guess what? It can really impact our future and even our eternity. Which brings me to lesson number two. The friends that we choose are important. And you know what? I'm gonna actually let my good friend Fabian tell you all about it. Here you go, Fabian. Thank you, Pastor Evelani. I love this cereal and it's one of my faves. You know, friendship is like having a favorite person or even favorite people in your life. Friendship can be so important and can even be like your family. Question, have you ever had a friend and you know, both of you love the same things or talk the same, dress the same, and you it was almost like you were a twin? Well, this is very common because the more time you spend with somebody, the more you're likely to become like them, which is a really good thing or a really bad thing. You know, we look at this apple right here and say, it's a very healthy apple. It's good and it's delicious. But if we put this apple next to apples that aren't so good and are rotten, that same apple is gonna be bad and it's gonna get moldy and nasty. And it's the same way with the way we choose our friends. Say we're healthy, we're good. If we don't surround ourselves with good people, we're gonna become just like that apple or even worse. This is why we must be so careful in choosing our friends. The Bible says it clearly in Romans 12 too. Do not copy the behaviors and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So remember, when we're choosing friends, it's good to pick the friends that are going to help you grow and correct you when you're out of line. Good friends that honor God want to see you do good things while friendships that do not honor God will influence us to make bad decisions. All right, back to you, Pastor Evelani. Thanks, Fabian. See guys, God places people in our life that can bring love, joy, and help. On the other hand, if we are not wise in selecting our friends, relationships in turn can really hurt us. Friendship can and will influence what we do and how we act. See guys, I wanna share a little story with you from my life. See, I once had a friend who, for our story, 
we are going to call um, Susie, okay? Now, Susie was my best friend. I mean, we spent every minute together. If Susie was going somewhere, uh, you better believe I was with her. Now, Susie was such a fun friend to be around. We always had a great time together. One thing, though, about my friend Susie was that um, she used to use bad words, like, a lot. And, I mean, she was a potty mouth. And it was just how she spoke. Now, I never would use bad words, and it made me really uncomfortable at first. But she was really, like, so much fun to be around. So I just ignored that. And you know what? After we spent more and more time together, her saying those bad words and having that really bad language stopped bothering me. It became normal. And after more and more time together, I started using some of those bad words that she did. And it became more and more comfortable for me. Sure enough, I was using bad language a lot, just as much as her and not even realizing it. So much so that one day when I was having lunch with my mom, I'll never forget this, having a really great conversation, I said a really bad word and I didn't even notice that I said it. I just kept going on like normal. But you know what? My mom sure did notice and let's just say I was in a lot of trouble, like a ton of trouble. After that, I came to realize and see who I was becoming, and I did not like it. And I felt really ugly inside, actually, and honestly, ashamed. I didn't stop being friends with Susie, but we did stop spending a lot of time together, which was really hard and honestly super sad for me. I loved our relationship, but the more time I spent with her, the further away from God I was getting. And thankfully, I was able to see that. See guys, our friendships can really impact our life. And more importantly, our eternity. This is why we must be so wise and not get caught up in a friendship that will end up hurting us. Now, does that mean that we can only have friends that are perfect, that never do bad things? Uh, the answer is no, because there are no perfect people. But there is only one who is perfect, and that is Jesus. When we are filled with him and honor Jesus before any friendship or relationship, we will be able to not only choose friends wisely, but be a great friend to others. So right now, I wanna take a moment and give you an opportunity to have a relationship with Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. This relationship will not only bless your life, but change it forever. And I mean forever. When we accept Jesus into our heart, it opens the door for us to be able to spend eternity in heaven with Him. All we have to do is accept Him in our heart as our Lord and Savior, and we're gonna do that right now. So, if you're out there and you wanna join me, I'd like you to close your eyes and bow your head. All right. And if you have never accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, but want to do that right now, I want you to raise your hand. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Wow, way to go, friends. This is very exciting. So now, simple stuff here. I just want you to repeat after me. It's a very simple prayer, but put power into your words as we are talking to our Heavenly Father. And He's listening. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you and we thank you for sending your perfect Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for me. I believe in my heart and say with my mouth, you are my Lord. I ask you to forgive me of all my sin. And I thank you for loving me unconditionally. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Congratulations for those of you that said that prayer. But now I would like to say another prayer with those of you out there who are having a tough time making wise choices when it comes to choosing your friends. See, we need to have friendships that honor God before anything else. So let's go ahead and pray for those of you out there. So go ahead and close your eyes one more time. 
Dear Lord, we love you and we thank you, Father God, for being so good to us. Right now, we call upon your name asking for wisdom. Wisdom that we would choose relationships and people that are gonna bring us closer to you and not further away. That Lord, that we would also be a great friend to others, that our relationship would honor you in all ways. We just thank you for all of this in Jesus' name, amen. There we go, wow guys. You guys are definitely on the path to learning how to friend and today was just the start of it. I cannot wait to see what we learn next time. Well guys, that is it for me today. I will see you later my friends. Bye-bye.